Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome back to another story time with Mr. Kepke. We have a good book for you this evening. I hope you had a great weekend. The book for this evening is Bear Can't Sleep. You ever felt like that? There's a lot of nights that Mr. Kepke just cannot sleep. This is by Karma Wilson. In his home in the forest, while the cold wind blows, Bear snuggles in his quilt from his nose to his toes. While the snowflakes fall and the drifts pile high, Bear tosses and he turns, Bear moans and he sighs. Tossing and turning all night long. It's no fun, no fun at all. He stares at the wall. He's not tired at all. And the bear can't sleep. Pitter pat, tiptoe. Mouse scurries in the lair to check on the fire for his good friend bear. Oh bear, mouse squeaks. You're up too late. It is winter in the woods and bears hibernate. Mouse frets, dear me, while he brews mint tea and the bear can't sleep. Bear is counting sheep. One, two, three, four. When badger and hare tumble in through the door. Ho, mouse, says hare. We were just out walking. Bear should be asleep. But we both heard him talking. Bear snuggles down deep in a sad fury heap, but he still can't sleep. Mouse turns down the lamp, badger builds the fire up, hare pours warm milk into bear's tin cup. Then gopher and mole tunnel up to the lair Mole frets and he fusses. It is bedtime for bears. Everybody's trying to help bears sleep, but he just can't get to sleep. The cold wind blows while the firelight glows, but the bear can't sleep. Wren, owl, and raven flitter flutter inside to find Bear awake with his eyes open wide. Wren hops to and fro. What else is there to try? A song to make him sleepy? So they sing a lullaby. All gathered in the lair, they hum along for Bear but he still can't sleep. I'm awake, roars Bear. And that's all there is to it. I've tried to fall asleep, but I just can't do it. I'm bored, bored, bored. How many of y'all feel like that? You lay there trying to go to sleep and you're bored, bored, bored. So, I'll spin you all a tale. Once upon a time, in the Strawberry Vale, the friends huddle as the story begins, since the bear can't sleep.
Bear tells a story he has never told before. But just before the end, what do you think is fixing to happen? You probably guessed it. There comes a rumbling snore. When the sun peeks up on a bright new dawn, the friends can't sleep. So the bear's falling asleep now, and now the friends can't sleep. But the bear snores on. That is the end of our book, and we're glad Mr. Bear got to finally go to sleep, and we hope now that you can also go to sleep and know that I love you very, very much.